you know, and you, the tip off is usually when the person is a like miniature maker. That's his hobby. I make miniatures. I paint them, uh, <laughs> small little dollhouse type stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, so huge! You won't be able to take it. <laughs> I like to dress my dick up as Godzilla and crash through the town. I spent a month handcrafting. Come on! The weekend has landed. All that exists now is clubs, drugs, pubs, and parties. I've got forty-eight hours off from the world, man. I'm gonna blow steam out of my head like a screaming kettle. I'm gonna talk cod shit to strangers all night. I'm gonna lose the plot on the dance floor. The free radicals inside me are freaking, man. Tonight. I'm Chip Travolta. I'm Peter Popper. I'm going to never, never land with my chosen family, man. We're going to get more spaced out than Neil Armstrong ever did. Anything could happen tonight, you know? This could be the best night of my life. I've got 73 quid in my back burner. I'm going to wax the lot, man. The milky bars are on me. And now, live from Rule 34 Studio, I bring you a girl that gets way too aggressive when she wants some dick. Here she is, <laughs> your host, the one, the only, Kinky Kitty. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the show. This is Kinky Kitty's world number 349. I'm your host, Kinky Kitty, and with me, as always, is the pimp with the lamp, my ying to my yang, my bearded pita stuffer, my favorite flesh covered fuck toy, Mr. S. Okay. I was feeling creative. Uh, 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 okay. Sure. I don't well, know. We could call it creativity. Why sure. not? Okay. <laughs> we are coming to you live from Rule 34 Studios, KinkyKittyRadio.com, and RadioCast.net. Yeah. See, I, I didn't fuck up too bad that time. No, you did good. You did good. <laughs> you had all your words pre planned. <laughs> words. And you actually said them in the manner in which you intended. Good job. Yeah. Good job. I get the gold star for today. Good job. Yay. Well, we haven't awarded stars yet, so, you know. Oh, are we, we, don't still know on, are we still on stormy clouds and smiley and little suns? No, I don't know what you mean by that, but it's, you know, you still have two hours left in the day, so, you know. I, I just I just need to get, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a fun show for you tonight. We have got a brand new tits man. We have new porn pick of the week. And this one might surprise you. Um, yeah, it's it's not really violent, but it is a little bit. Okay. You know? I okay. Don't know. Well, we'll get Slightly there. aggressive. Yeah, sli- slightly, slightly aggressive. We were coming back say. around on the on the merry go round at some point. So, well, yeah, I know because the cats, especially this little, our little flokester, he um, he stuck to me like glue. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna be bleeding soon. Is that when when he usually sticks to you like glue? Well, this bad, yeah. Okay. Well, he's okay. like this all the time, but I mean, this is like. Well, you know, it's weird that animals do that. Sometimes they get little weird cycles. Yeah, you know. With whoever. I love mommy when she's gross. No. <laughs> <laughs> and bitchy. Well, you know, somebody has to. So it's really good that the kitties. <laughs> I, yes, are I, ha- I have someone too that'll be my friend and, and <laughs> I can yell at and then they're like, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, know. okay. Whatever. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I have some Facebook drama. Really? I'm not kicked off. Okay. I mean, I'm not suspended, you know, I'm just saying. But I did get, I got banned from a, um, <laughs> from a group. Yeah, really? Not from the Black Cat group? No, no, they love me. Okay. Because I, I, I definitely have several members. Um, no, the, uh, um, it was a horror group. Okay. And this woman had posted a picture of a child with their face pressed up against the window. And this is what the post was. Um, what would you do if you saw this pressed against your window? Creepy, huh? Okay. Well, and people, people posted a fucking gif of, of Chuck Norris punching a baby. Okay. You know, and people, Saying it looks like a troll. Okay, well, you're not saying what you said. What just get to the point? What What did you say that got you thrown out of said? I said, I said, oh my god, yeah, no, I, I'd wonder where the hell that their parents were, and then I would open the door quickly and try to clip it, you know, you know, whatever. And she's, that's my kid. I'm like, how the fuck am I supposed to know that that's your kid? I don't 
know who you are, and why would I know that that's your kid? Okay, so basically, you were just picking on a little child, and you got thrown off of a group because you were being mean to a kid. Because, yeah, be- because okay, I, I said know? that I would do to to a <laughs> child that has absolutely no fucking Yeah, I, I, I tell you all the time, if you don't, you know. I you know, gotta be, I, abide by the rules, or you don't don't play. I know. Yeah, what are you gonna so do? So I was just like, "Fuck." Uh huh. And then I don't I don't know what's gonna happen because the kind of like the within the next two days I have like fucking like three hundred and fifty friend requests. I'm like, oh, who 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 wants to be pissy with me? Okay, so I don't know. Whatever. So I, yeah. So I I'm really really, I really sorry I that, that I, it was your kid. But next time. Say something, you know, you should kind of give people a heads up. Not everybody knows. Okay. I'm just trying to identify with your your drama that's, you know, really. It's not drama. Yeah. I, I know. You know. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So next weekend is uh, Tampa Bay Screams. So make sure that you go. And also this weekend, don't forget, uh, tonight, we're going to set our clocks ahead. It just, sucks. It does it automatically. No, I know. I'm just saying that, that, it's, that it's, we lose an hour. <laughs> miracle of modern technology yes i know we don't have to think about that anymore yeah no that's true mm-hmm. i had the weirdest dream that i was giving drugs okay to like i was i was giving vaccines illegally okay to um to people who i used to work with over at uh, the other studio okay <laughs> so you're doing like bootleg vaccining yeah okay did they have the like, nanobots in it or no I don't think so. Okay. Well, you know. Because I, I was doing them at the house. Like, they would come in, like, through this back alley, uh-huh. which is weird. And then I, I'd take them in. Well, I mean, that is that is the way that you would do a bootleg vaccine would be through the back alley. I mean, to be fair. But then I bring them into the kitchen and I put down a blanket because they have to sit naked on the counter. Yeah. Well, you have to strip them down, obviously. You know. It was just very weird, but I don't know what any of these people look like naked, so it was kind of like blurry in some areas. Really? Well, okay. You don't, your mind just doesn't make up the fine details inside of a dream sometimes? Or? I'm not very creative. Oh, We've already talked okay. about this, about, about trying to control your dream or knowing that you're in a dream. Well, and, that's, and that's, that's that. Like that's that. That's controlling. I'm just saying while you're in the dream, or is it you? maybe you just don't remember? I mean- you oh, know, I remember if I've seen them naked. <laughs> no, that no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about whether people are blurry or not. You know, <laughs> like yeah. whether people are actually are blurry or you, you just don't remember any detail. Yeah, you because know? it's a dream. You don't exactly remember everything. Sometimes I think I do. I do know why I do remember one Wang though. Okay. Which I thought was weird because now that you tell me about it, is he he showed me pictures of his wife giving him head. Okay, so you, you remember Wang? So yeah, so I, I remember okay. that. Okay, yep. so you have have inter. <laughs> so I have seen some one of them naked. I- inter dreaming Wang memory at least. Yeah, I mean you're you know. <laughs> I have Wang recognition. <laughs> I have a really good memory for Dick. I just I when I see a Dick, I know it immediately. It's almost like a face to me. Well, sometimes sometimes people stand out. Okay. Like th- because I have I have a whole folder full of people and I, some of them a lot of them I could be like, "Oh, that's so and so and their face is not in the picture at all." Okay. Uh-huh. But some of them they have they have different features that really stand out. Like there's this one that's dick is so smooth, it's like a toy. I mean, it doesn't even look real. Okay. It's just, it's just strange. Uh, so you're talking about dicks now, like no recognizing the dick because you've seen that dick so often. Well, these form. people send me fucking pictures all the time, and I'm like, "Yeah, I know that's you." Still using Hi, that, Bob. like, still using that big lighter as a uh, size <laughs> comparison, huh? Well, Katie, if I just use the mini bic, you really think it's a lot larger? <laughs> so you go straight mini bic. Look how big it is compared to this lighter. Oh, yeah, like no, exactly. Um, hey. uh, you know, and you, the tip off is usually when the person is a like miniature maker. That's his hobby. I make miniatures. I paint them, uh, <laughs> small little dollhouse type stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, so huge! You won't be able to take it. <laughs> I like to dress my dick up as Godzilla and crash through the town. I spent a month handcrafting. 
bang, ah. bang, bang, just like slap your dick into things, just ah. <laughs> breaking buildings. Dick it uh, uh, Yeah, no, you know, I would like to see that. That would be some effort, and and I think that. That would probably get you pretty far if you, you would recognize that dick again. If you if if you like saw Godzilla dick, you would recognize that dick again because of the effort they went into into the crafting of a proper dick pic. That would be that would be a memorable dick. Okay, and okay. then I would probably pay attention to you because you you were creative and you actually put some effort into yeah. it. No, that's right. I mean, I agree. If you're gonna send a dick pic, you might as well be creative with it. You know. Oh, and you know, if I did some, someone did send me uh, a picture of this girl's puss, and it was all like gaped open. Okay, and they put googly eyes on it. Uh-huh. <laughs> and they captured it with like, <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> gaping fucking crotch. It was very, it was, it was very unsettling. <laughs> you know, you know, I would have liked it probably though. No, I would have been into it. Oh, no, don't I don't that. think so. You don't know that. Oh, uh. I mean, definitely we haven't agreed on certain snatches that we've both seen and I've liked and maybe you didn't. Yeah, but but this kind of looked like, I mean, the cervix was start. it was like prolapsed. Oh, and oh it, it, no. Oh, see? <laughs> we had to say prolapse. You didn't say, I mean, you could lead with prolapse. And I mean, it so looks- it's a fucking prolapse. Vagi- Her vagina literally fell out. It, well, yeah, it, it looked, it, her cervix looked like if you got, had like a chunk of ham and it got stuck in the garbage disposal and you pulled it out. Like, it, Wait, 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 wait. Just the fact that you know what the person's cervix looks like at yeah. all? Really? Yeah. That's the unsettling part. <laughs> Just like, ew. I know, I've seen your cervix. <laughs> I've seen your cervix. The hot cervix. I remember I, I did have a gynecologist tell me once that, that I had my cervix was perfect and <laughs> perfect, yeah. perfectly pink okay i was like okay thanks okay you say that to all the teenagers don't you doc why do you always lick your fingers after we leave <laughs> you're gross <laughs> poor gynecologist you know because they're not getting to see like it's their how, choice oh, it's their choice but you know they're they're getting into the the you know that fruit is rotten action. People you, usually don't come see you unless there's an issue. Well, I mean, people get checkups and stuff, and well, yeah. I'm sure you know. I'm sure there are a lot of women that they that he sees that he's you know would say that was attractive, but still, yeah, I mean, look at a pussy all day like that, like that. I don't know. I you, don't know. You'd probably get turned off of sex completely. I I wouldn't want to fuck with vagina so much. You know what I mean? Straight to the ass. Man, even that. I'm like around the corner all the time. Kulo. I mean, I'm seeing all the the rancid uh, kitties all over the fucking place. Anything in my local area that's like a rancid puss is going to be in my office. Can we set up the cages for them? <laughs> this one's oozy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> yeah. Gross. I don't know. I don't know why. How we got onto rancid on gynecological? Oh, visits. oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know either. Mm. <laughs> You're the one leading the conversation, lady. I know. All right, let's go to my my favorite segment. Stand by. Standing by. It might not be the porn. It's the would right pick. one. Good for you. It is the porn. Kitty one. It's time once again for Katie's porn pick of the week. Okie dokie. So, what my porn pick of the week has been, uh, and I don't, <laughs> I'm not really sure if it has anything to do with uh, marijuana okay. or not. Okay. But. I've been having fantasies and watching videos of people getting, um, having sex with cops. Okay. Like getting, getting handcuffed and then forced to bend oh. over the car and All right. get, get Cop banged. Cop rape. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that, that's kind of like what it's been. It's just like. Well, I mean, that's back to your, your being bound up thing that you go into for a little bit. Yeah. I mean, you're you're into bound up time, <laughs> you know, whatever time that That's is. Bound up time. Well, it's it's and like, I'm staring at some duct tape right now. Yeah, well, it's your cervix is in the third moon, rescending from the u- from the uterine lining. So you know, obviously, you are now into you know more bound and gagged by an official person. You yeah, know, arrested. 
<laughs> not in prison, though. Not a prison no. guard. No prison guard sex. No, 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 no. Okay. Like it doesn't even go further than the car. Okay. You're talking about you. you I mean, do you get released afterwards? Kind of a thing. Or yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. Okay. You fuck your way out of the situation. Well, and it's kind of it's out in the open during the day. Okay. And just kind of like rough. A rough. Like kind of like hurts a little bit. Yeah. So I mean, what did did, did, did what is. In your fantasy, does the cop like feel bad or like like? No, he's all into it. I'm not like, saying he's a little he's not bit of a it. dick. I'm but... talking about afterwards, and he lets you go because he feels bad for you, or what? No, he just he just lets you go with a smile and a spank on the like a spank on the ass. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, okay, that like, was your buddy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> have a good day, ma'am. Like, <laughs> uh, it's funny. I've had that same nightmare. It's weird. But for me, it's, you know, it's not good. You you don't like the pat on the butt when you're done? Uh, No, I I really prefer my contact with the police to be non-physical at all. Like, you know, I... You don't know the safe word, so we can't play together, kind of a thing. So you Chinchilla. stay, you stay on your side, I stay on mine, and we'll be all be happy. You know, somehow, you know, I I lose that fight every time. See you. Uh, you have a pineapple tattoo. I noticed yeah. it as I was cuffing you up. God no, I don't even know how I would respond. To, like I, I got one too. I just <laughs> you know, hope you don't get mad if I'm not into it. You know. I mean, if you're a female, I might be into it. I don't know. See, but then we're talking. But, like, immediately in my mind, I'm thinking some guy cop, like, handcuffs me, throw me, throws me down. And, no, negative. That is a nightmare. That is not good at all. You know. <laughs> all right. Okay. Well, well speaking of um, talking about porn, I've been wondering what's been going on in the land of, of people that I know. Uh, the little kind of like newly developed thruple. Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm curious. Uh, the one of the uh, update. This is this isn't the pregnant one. This is a uh, different one. Okay. Now now you're confusing me because you said thruple update like it was going to be the same people. You're not. You're talking about a completely. I said different... newly developed thruple. So this uh, thruple is, is new, new thrup. Yes. All right. They've recently become a thrup. Oh, wow. Wow, they're R- 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 wow. <laughs> they're in the honeymoon thruple phase. Yes, really. Yes, huh? She just left to go out of town to film a movie. Okay, now I know exactly what you're talking about. But okay, and the other one came into town. Okay, okay, yeah. A left and B B is hanging around. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, whatever their rule is, I maybe know. they have an anytime rule, and maybe she's glad that she knows the person that she is with, that he is with. I want to be so nosy. I'm. I want to be nosy so bad. Yeah. But, well. But no, I can't. Yeah, I can't. you can't. Don't don't get in the middle of anybody, especially because an extra person. You know, you're juggling three balls now, so you really just whatever they do is what they do. You can't even talk to either one about either one. I know. Uh huh. I know. Because it's their thing. It like, is. It's none of my damn business. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you could be ratting one out to the other, but like unintentionally just by sharing information. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, that's true. Yeah. And I don't, I don't want to get anybody in trouble. That, that would be the only reason to like, oh, God, I don't know. What are your rules? Just so I understand. You know, if I talk to both of you at different <laughs> times, like, yeah. So then I'm just better off not knowing anything because I don't I don't want to know anything. No. See, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't, I don't require. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what you guys are doing. I know. Uh-huh. It's like one Busy body. I know. I know. I'm old now, so okay. I'm an old lady. That I've, I've got nothing else going on. I gotta wonder about what you what you're doing. Well, I don't know if me. if you remember, it, it didn't doesn't really take an old, older lady at all to to want to talk about some a gossip about a couple. That's true. Yeah, that I mean that happens pretty early on in peoplehood. Yeah, male and female, I think that's true. So I've got the uh, oh, d- don't forget that the, tomorrow the fourteenth is Steak and Blowjob Day. That's right. So, ladies, also fellas, known as Pie Day, get ready. Yeah, that's well, right. it's, it, and basically, it's already too late for you um, because by the time you hear this, if you're not listening to it live, it is Steak and a Blowjob Day at the earliest. At the earliest. 
All right. Well, uh, you know, then you still got a you couple more week, hours. Though. We did. I actually was on time. You were. I was early. No, you like pre pre announced uh, steak and a blowjob day. Fuck yeah. I mean, that's literally if you want to promote something, you need to do it before the actual date happens. It works a lot better that way. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, and you did. <laughs> See, you're a winner. Good <laughs> I job. Got it right. Good job. See, that's the second time you told me good job. Good today. job. You got two that's... gold stars tonight. Oh, I thought we didn't get to stars. Yeah, yet. well, show stars are different from day stars. I They're can completely put them different. Over my nipples. Yeah, you know, one of them are like you get red stars and blue stars and yellow stars and green stars. Those were red stars. Uh, uh, yeah, show oh. stars are red. Oh, show yeah. stars are red. Show stars are red. Okay, what are the other ones? What are the other ones? Well, you don't know what the other ones are? I mean, green is cooking, obviously. Obviously. Okay. That's Yeah, green's cooking. Yeah. Yellow? You don't know the fucking code? What is your contest. problem? What? What? I lost the memo. I don't okay. remember things anymore. Really? I mean, blue is the daily star. Just mm. your average daily star is a blue star. I put on my belly, be a star belly. I mean, how speech. are you ever going to get any better if you don't understand the star system? <laughs> I don't know. I'm fucking figure it out. All right. This guy got in trouble. He ended up getting two. <laughs> he worked at a grocery store. And uh, he got two years in jail because <laughs> he was handing out yogurt samples. Okay. Well, can you guess what he added? Yeah. Yeah, the classic swap the yogurt for the yogurt. Didn't swap it, just added to it. Okay. Double, added its own little uh, little flavor to it, its own little uh, tang. I mean, who who was buying said yogurts? They, there was free samples. Free so samples. Was, so everybody was like, mmm, <laughs> yogurt. <laughs> Is this Greek? It's got extra protein. I mean, oh, yeah. I, I don't know why it is. Give me your Stamos. You know, <laughs> why do you have to involve other people in your kink? Like, why do you got to do that? Why, why don't you, you know, you know, why do you got to do that? You're making the rest of us look bad, pervert. Well, I mean, I, I don't, I don't know. She, <laughs> apparently there's this, there's this woman, she, <laughs> she could taste it in there. And she went to the manager. <laughs> she like, was like, that is not the first time that I've ever heard that either. You know, I mean, there well, there was a couple of stories of of cum eating stories before. Wasn't there somebody who was like, I could taste it in the cookie? Yeah, I mean, it's kind. Of, see, now that's crazy about if it's in the cookie, like okay. already, and it's baked. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't but remember what the food substance was, but somebody tasted it, and that's how they caught they're it. They're like, this, there's scratches in it. I mean, it's kind of like you taste cum. You, Tasted enough, you kind of know what it tastes like. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to have to ask the sperm content of your free sample yogurt before you eat it, you know? Ugh. I mean, you, you know. It's a uh, strawberry and <laughs> sperm. I mean, if you want to intermittently feed sperm to your partner that you've told that, you know, you'll feed sperm to every once in a while, then hey. You just made an agreement to have an un, un a kind of unwilling, but at least they don't get to pick when they eat the cum. But you 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 worked that out ahead of time, so you can completely do it. But say, you know, say first one's free, but the next one you got to get straight from the tap. <laughs> you you got to work for it, especially when it's steak and a blowjob day. That's right, I and mean, no. you're already at the grocery store anyway. So <laughs> while you're picking up the steak, get some little shake. No <laughs> negative. <laughs> There was a police officer. He he sued this this uh, bagel joint because the cook put pubes in his bagel <laughs> as revenge. Wow, you were going heavy on the on the food and corrupt, bodily shit. Yeah, just yeah. corrupt food action. It's kind of it's kind of that kind of show. Yeah, I mean you're 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 just trying to discourage people from ever eating out ever again, as if they're they're running out to go eat out right now. Anyway, eating out and pubes kind of go together for Do most they? people. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you know it or not, That's your, right. your your <laughs> your pube consumption does go up when you eat out of the home. Seven out of ten scientists agree. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he um he had to he had ordered something to drink, and then he ordered an egg and cheese uh and turkey on a bagel. And this is in New Jersey, and the guy's like, fucking hate you, goddamn cop, kind of thing. And he uh, he put his pubes in there. <laughs> you know, I just heard somewhere that somebody would take pube hair and put it inside of food as they ate it, you know, to, to bring it up to get free food. 
they would take their own pube hair, put it in said food because that way, like if it looks like a regular hair, they're going to say, well, that just came off like when you were sitting at the table. Right. You know, obviously, but when it's a curly hair like that, immediately. Well, you- Asian people are screwed because they have straight uh, p- pubes. Not all of them. And it's not as straight. I mean, it's still a, a pu- every single Asian person yeah. that I've okay. met, male or female, and that I've seen, and I doubt they're taking a fucking flat iron to their well, crotches. Uh, um, well, uh, what I'm saying is, it's a really big country, and there's a lot of people, so it's not all like there's some curly pubes in China somewhere. Mm-hmm. It, th- there are. I'm mm-hmm. telling you, mm-hmm. it may it might may not be the normal, you know. I mean, how many, how many, um, you like my perm? I just got it done. <laughs> how many, how many, um, black guys have you albino black people? I've met it two at least in the place that I was a teenager in. There were, there were two albino black guys. I'm sure I've met, I've met some. I can't remember fucking yeah. half of my life. So, so you know, there has to be some curly hair, <laughs> pubic haired Asians. I'm saying there has to be just, you know, it's an odd thing. You know, well, they ended up. He ended up taking it to the lab, to the lab that the the okay obviously now. Were, no, and they found the DNA in the pubes. But now, why <laughs> of, the, of the fucking of the cook? They went pretty far for that one. That well, didn't seem like like that seems like who's doing a DNA? I mean, I guess it's easy to do now, huh? <sighs> Whatever. He works. He's a fucking cop. He works for them. It'd uh, be like you know Dexter or some shit. I yeah. don't know. We have to spend some some county money on this immediately and find out who this pube who put pubes in my breakfast. That's right. I mean, the investigation could run a quarter of a million dollars, but we need to get to the bottom of this immediately. I'd want to know whose pubes are in my fucking breakfast, and not only whose pubes, but how many pubes are there? You know, by volume. And really, how, how many did you eat already? There you go. Like, what's the estimated pube pube intake? that I have and what do I need to do to flush out my system? Yeah, how likely am I to catch something from <laughs> your pubes? Consuming your pubes? Uh, probably, you know, it's probably not a very high chance of getting anything. I mean, really. <laughs> What's the likelihood that I ate your crabs? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they die in your stomach acid, so really it's not that bad. You know, it'll be okay. They died in there. Just eat it. Mm. By, by the time they get to your colon, they're long dead and they're just carcass, you know? Uh, just you, crab carcasses. Yeah. Or shells. Yeah. Well, uh, I do have one more food story and I'm going to tell it. I'm going to talk about it right now. There was a woman. She sued a, um, a restaurant over. Uh, she, she found a condom in her chowder. <laughs> okay. Now I know how, how she found that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, she the, was eating it. She thought it was a clam. The cut cum content inside of uh, the, the yogurt, I'm not sure how right. the hell anybody picked that out, you know? But yeah, they, they thought it, they had, <laughs> apparently they were a pain in the ass um, table. <laughs> and they sent the suit back like three times. Okay. At, like twice to reheat uh, and once for like something else. That's right. So the uh, the cook was like, Fuck this cunt, and and he he put a condom in there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> like, and it's funny that you're telling that story because you were just talking about somebody you went out to eat with, and they were really rough on the wait staff. And immediately, I looked at you like, you know, that's how you get shit put in your food, a hundred percent. Like, all you got to do is catch somebody that's not making a good living right now, and then you fuck with them for no reason at all. They know it. Guess what? You're probably going to get a little, little, you know, cum yogurt or uh, what did they put in the soup? It's a- <laughs> what? Don't you don't know? No. No? But there was something. How do we know there was something in the soup? What was in the oh, soup? Condom. Oh, that's right. This is what you- <laughs> Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. And they had it. They have a picture of it, too. Like, they took a picture and it was like. Oh, but no. the and the but the cook admitted it. He was, he was like, "Yes, I did." Okay. And the, well, I, one question though, and would this matter to you if the condom was used during anal or vaginal sex? Would it matter to you? Go. Oh, well, yes. Okay, but which one would you prefer? Well, really? Oh, God. Well, because you like watching hot man on man sex. 
I don't want to lick the condom after it's done. Well, you don't want to lick either either of the condoms, really, right? I mean, I'm I'm assuming you're you're not well, unless into that. I unless I know. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Say I know the girl and I'm into munch in the box. Okay, she gets banged by someone who's wearing a condom. I lick her juices off of the condom. That's nothing. Okay, so I mean, I mean, I'm not saying I. But I if just, it's in a butt, it's a butt, and I don't want, I don't want to put anything that's been in a butt in my mouth. I don't I don't. I don't do that. But you'll toss a salad. Like, selectively, you'll toss a salad. You're not anti-salad tossing. Right. Uh Uh-huh. I have done. And you'll definitely stick things into it. Yeah, but I'm not going to pull them out and, like, lick it off. Okay. Well, I mean, you know, that doesn't mean that you could – it would never happen, really. Oh. I mean, I could see a circumstance in which you would be talked into it. Like, um, you know, I'm not addicted to any kind of drugs, so okay, well, I can't not, see that uh, happening. Oh, I'm I'm thinking more along the lines of of you enjoying it. Oh God, no, 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 no. You sure? How do you know? Oh, what? You don't know? How do you know? You don't know? I I am I don't need to do much thinking about this, honey. Okay. So definitely, Hi. definitely the 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 vaginal Toots. condom, vaginal condom. Yeah. Okay. Now, if you knew who the person was and you agreed with the vag and the dick, the dick and the vag that came off of it, let's say the dick vag combo that you're talking about, like just pop it in my mouth and kind of like, no, kind I of did, I didn't chew say, it up like bubble I gum. I didn't say chew oh it up like God. I did not say that at all. What I said, what I'm saying is, you know, in in any kind of a conceivable universe, you know, with any combination of dick and pussy, would you not be as grossed out? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'd have to think about it. Okay. Well, I just wanted to lay a little punishment down for all of the food poisoning fucking uh, um, discussion here this evening. So I just thought I would leave you with that on your last one. <sighs> <laughs> well, on that note, we're going to uh, go to an episode of Rule 34, and when we come back, we're going to have a brand new tits man. And uh, this chick, she's looking for a date, so we'll be right back. Yum, yum. It's time for a tasty and refreshing snack. <laughs> So there's this new product line that uh, just as Facebook does what Facebook does, I I clicked on it once to just read about it. Uh And now it's like, I see it on my feed, like every fucking, (laughs) like a a couple of posts. I'm like, oh my God, it is called Lume or Lume. Lume. And it's you smell better (laughs) naked. Okay. It's body deodorant for your, for your stinky parts. I mean, how many, how many ladies get that? That same advertisement that they're, you know, obviously targeting at ladies and go, what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say I have a stink pussy? If you didn't think that you had an issue, you, you now all of a sudden have manifested what some kind of head? exactly some kind of psychological stink. Like maybe maybe I too stink. I, I can kind of smell myself sometimes. I don't really know. Um, um, what can I do? Well, they they also talk about that it is safe for dudes too, because uh, you she goes you guys get stinky balls and we don't want you stinky pecker. Like <laughs> I'm like ew. Just you know you roll the foreskin down and you just apply it like a chapstick, Katie. You know, you're the guy that you're going on your date with and, you know, you whip out, okay, it doesn't smell like rank pussy anymore. Now it smells like old lady perfume. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I getting mothballs? I don't really understand. What's what's the deal down there? Are we worried about, like, moths? What's happening? <laughs> Your pussy tastes like hand sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Why does it smell like cedar? I don't get it. Is that lavender? <laughs> what, what is that? Sandalwood. <laughs> Sandalwood? <laughs> And now, on with the show. And welcome back to Kinky Katie's World at Rule 34 Studios, KinkyKatieRadio.com and RadioCast.net. I was grooving. Yeah. I was. Yeah. I was getting all like... "Mm." (laughs) I forgot where the drop was. (laughs) I I was was like, like, I don't know if I want to catch it either. Uh, You can get us on Twitter. I mean, I already said that, but you can get us on YouTube. Did you know that? (laughs) We. (laughs) And this one's not even like a driving beat or anything. No, I know. It's like mellow and it Uh just just kind of... Mellowed you out. It really did. It put me in in a little zone where I'm like, all right. Yeah, baby. (laughs) What's up? (laughs) (laughs) So there was... So 
someone had taken a screenshot of this girl's um, dating profile on, on this one dating app. Okay. And it says, Tina, 29. <laughs> I'm very sick of pretending to be a cool, laid-back girl so people want to date me. I'm insane. <laughs> I'm literally balls to the wall insane. <laughs> and that is okay. Pussy is immaculate. Head game is otherworldly. I will treat you right, and I will also cry every day. High risk, high reward. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, you know. Well, of course, I would have to run that direction like a moth to a flame, for sure. Of course you would. Yeah. I mean... You know, what does she look like, though? Like, what are we trading here? Well, the pussy could be immaculate, but maybe like the rest of it. Maybe the face is busted. I don't know. I don't know. I can't say unless I'm confronted. You know what I mean? (laughs) I have to like directly see it to understand. (laughs) Am I down or not? I don't know. I don't know. know. Could be. Could be. Could be. I like crazy. (laughs) I mean, I'm usually into crazy. (laughs) I don't know if you noticed. Uh, Gee. No, I haven't noticed. <laughs> but that could be the problem, is okay. I haven't noticed. Okay. Oh my gosh. So yeah, so I've got my table read for this for the my new movie um tomorrow and tomorrow morning. And then um Yeah. Yeah. I I I uh, I need to do I need to do something because I am in every single scene of this movie. Okay. And um, what do you mean do something as per what? I need to lose weight. There's a lot of nudity in this one. Okay. A lot. Yeah, There's a you know. lot of filthy things that I'm doing to myself. Okay. Well. Yeah. You know. You know. You probably have a solid few weeks. <laughs> yeah, I, I have a couple of weeks. Okay, good luck with that. I know. <laughs> I mean, you're whatever. It it <laughs> like I said, it's it's your action. So I know. Uh huh. I know. Uh huh. Fuck. Yeah. Well, I mean, whatever. It's fine. I we we can we can talk about a few things, like maybe change, tweak a li- couple of things. Yeah. Here and there. Okay. Yeah. Do a little, little CGI. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. that'll. <laughs> that sure. You mean there's no CGI budget at all? <laughs> really? No. Come on. No. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm shocked. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You'll be fine. It'll be great. Okay, there is a nude cruise. Okay. That's coming up in 2022. Okay, I thought all the cruise ships like. They all sunk or whatever. Somebody burned them. They or, all turned into hospitals. I, I I don't know. I'm just saying people are taking cruises. Are they? Is that Floating happening? Viking. Well, they said in, in 2022 that it's going to be a two week new two week long nude cruise hmm. from uh, bare necessities. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, that sounds like like some sunburnt pink bits. Fucking Christ, hell yes. But anyway, I mean, I guess that you can only have a certain amount of people that are going to want to be nude on a cruise ship. And if they're going to want to do it, then it's kind of their own risk, you, I you, guess. You know, at some point, I got to do the research and find out. I would imagine between here and California, I mean, California's probably has more places that are, are nudist resorts. You know what I mean? Yeah, but this is coming out of Tampa. I, well, I know. What I'm saying is there has to be more nudists in Florida than, you know, think about it. Because it's warm. Yeah. I mean, you're in New York, but, you know, I mean, you're, you could be nude sometimes, but there's going to be a good part of the year that, I mean, you're just not going to do it. It's just not going to happen. Hey, sir, show me your tiger stripes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when I was a teenager, I grew up not too far from a nudist camp little trailer park over there in yeah Davie. yeah well yeah, i remember you telling me uh-huh. about it well yeah. you know uh, well so it doesn't i mean nudists are yeah they would definitely take a cruise and they're already brown in the pink parts that's true that's yeah. what i said show me your tiger stripes if you don't know what tiger stripes are that's when you know a guy's soft and out in the sun and then when he gets a hard on you know where all the folds were on the dick <laughs> it's non-sunburnt tanned yeah <laughs> so the t- tiger stripes yeah they're like racing stripes, but different. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I've always been a, like, I've, I've never been one to walk around in the sun completely nude just because of that reason. That and 
you know, I've always said self protection wise. You're going to snag your coin purse on something. That's what I, I wonder about all the time. You know, I mean, that's what I would be worried about when, if I'm like, don't have anything on. I mean, we live in Florida. You know how many goddamn bugs are out there? I mean, you know how close the Everglades is. That's no yeah, playtime I, situation right there. No. Uh huh. No. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's how do you think we feel? We were get like, Banged by a bon, you know, at a bonfire, but in the Everglades. I don't care how you feel about it at all. I mean, I, but I don't. I'm, you know, we're not walking around that way. You know, it's two or three minutes of nudity, Hi. so you know, you're fine. You'll be fine. <laughs> two, three minutes. Whatever, thirty seconds, whatever it takes. I mean, for the short haul. <laughs> you know, we're at a campfire, bonfire. What? Second move. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> You know, yeah, and you're probably a hammer, and you're just like, just do it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back and party. Well, because a lot of the 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 camping situations where there were lots of ladies around, usually there were lots of ladies around, and really, I you and know, you, you you wanted to Johnny Appleseed your way through the rest of them. Well, I wanted to have a chance at having sex with the rest of them at some point, and sometimes when one lady all of a sudden. Uh, uh, jumps on it, then then you don't get to go at the rest of them. See, sometimes you have to be strategic. Yeah, but then a lot of the times, though, once you you pound one of them, sometimes you get to pound them all. Yeah, the the all the girls like, ooh, she sometimes she pounded. I want I want to do it too. I mean, some like, of that that that's you have to like have that that long term thought. You know what I mean? Like like you got to well because like that's not going to happen overnight. Yeah. They're not going to ne- the next day say, well, depends well, what kind of horror friend she has. Well, you because know, sometimes that does happen after time. Y- once they hear the story, because the next day they don't even know. They don't even know. They don't know the story yet about how this person was. <gasps> fuck. How, how did I have sex with him? <laughs> but <laughs> uh, I don't know, but you got bug bites all over your clit, honey. But, what, what do you mean we had sex? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He was there? <laughs> Your clit looks like it came from National Geographic. No, no, no. That's... No, no. It's it's naked and afraid all over again, Katie. I'm telling you right now. I'm a medicine for that already. He's going to want to get checked, too. We'll cause... make you some special salve. Ew. Special. We Out have, yogurt. We have uh, the Palladium back. We are, we are back in the... Party zone. Party yeah, zone. Yeah, we are. Somehow, in, in the studio inside of our place, you can still hear the raging, raging party, raging. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if it's raging, but you can definitely I hear care. for I sure. Care. All right, let's go to your favorite segment. Stand by. Stand by. Boobs in and on the news. It's time once again for Tips. tips, tips, tips. Man. These are a couple of headlines for your... Um, Nipple pleasure. These are nipple piercing horror stories. Nipple pe- piercing ho- horror stories. Ho- horror. Ho- horror. Ho- horror stories. Rawr. I have a hard time not saying horror. I just, I really do. Hor- horror. Hor- horror stories. Because I usually play a horror and horror. The horror. Stories. Horror. Horror. Yeah, I don't know. I'm losing it now. <laughs> I'm losing the concept of the word now. That's okay. Okay. All right. Well, these these are just you can you can kind of like get your own fucking mind wrapped around these. One one of them, a state trooper ripped out a woman's nipple piercing with pliers. Wow. Yeah. Wow. The quote. So without any gloves or anything, and I could see dirt under his fingernails. It was extremely disgusting. He gets on there and he tries to twist it, and he starts shaking from trying so hard, and ends up pulling it and ripping it right out. I mean, I guess I guess so and so got arrested, and they were processing said person with nipple piercing. Is yeah, that what was going on. Uh huh. And they just had to try to get it unscrewed, and she couldn't get it unscrewed. Okay. So he just went all all ham and all fucking right. yoink. Wreck that nipple. Wreck that nipple. Wreck that nipple. Wreck it. I wonder if you get any time off your sentence for a wrecked nipple. Probably not. I doubt it. No, probably not. You're right. Mm. They slipped. I slipped. I didn't know what happened. I sure. sneezed. The cat came up behind me, Katie. All right. It did. That's okay. Uh, a woman almost killed by her nipple piercings okay. that you're going to have to check out. So that lady didn't almost die, the one at the police, you know? 
No, it's just a rib nibble. And she's just mutilated for life now. Yeah, uh, I would say so. What if she did? She have nice chobes on it, nice chober nipples, or what? What, are we, what were we working? Do they have pictures? Other photos? No, there's no photos. No lewds. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. They so disappointed. You're going to have to look up the lewds yourself. No, I wanted to see pre and post cop messing up nipple. Nipple. Oh, well, I'm sure you can find a gallery of ripped nipple bits. No, I don't want any. It just any. No, because that then you, oh. it was just like when you searched the feminine deodorant, uh, all of a sudden you got <laughs> feminine de- like the onslaught, which I made the same thing. The same mistake, you know, searching it for for working on the YouTube video, and all of a sudden, I've gotten eighty five ads for that damn deodorant stick, and it's the same thing with rip nipples, is what I'm saying. So if I search rip nipple, just you know, okay, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna get every ret rip nipple salve fucking uh, ad that there ever was. Oh my god, though! But uh, I'm gonna get Tom's nipple butter. I'm gonna get the utter <laughs> butter. Tom's, uh, Tom's nipple, nipple butter. butter. <laughs> yeah. It's made out of yogurt. Special Tom's yogurt. Spe- spe- and that, no, his name is Special Tom. <laughs> you can use it as toothpaste. That's exactly. <laughs> because because he's special, you can use his product everywhere. It's like OxyClean. He's got the glands from God. It's like OxyClean, but it does other stuff, and you can actually eat it. You can eat it. Oh, my God. It's a dietary supplement, too. Let Tom's liquid <laughs> clean your stuff. <laughs> and then you can eat it. <laughs> Tom's nipple salve. Nipple butter. Oh. It's a salve. May your nipples never be tough again. <laughs> Dog out front. <laughs> of course. <laughs> uh, well, they're fighting pit bulls, obviously. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, am I wrong? It's either it's either pit bulls or chickens, one or the other. That's what has to be ha- the fight that's going on outside. Because I heard the dogs. Oh my God, the dogs are the bouncers. <laughs> I don't know. Like- anyway, they're none, Francis. Well, walk walk out there with a uh, with another broken back windshield. No, I don't know who did it this time. Uh, Fucking goddamn it! Hey, that didn't happen. Don't make me mad about something that didn't happen. <laughs> you wait a minute. Time out. That's your trick on yourself. You don't get to play that one on me. You don't. What do you mean? No negative. You're you're not going to make me worry about something that has not occurred. I wasn't trying to make you worry about it. Oh, okay. I wasn't. Okay. I wasn't. All right. I promise. Uh huh. Oh my gosh. Did you ever get anywhere on the thought of, of was there a combination of, of ass and dick uh, condom that would gross you out the least? No. You, that, no. you didn't put any more thought into it? No. Okay. It's all right. Okay. I'm amazed that I haven't um, like made you watch the Woody Allen documentary at all. <laughs> Me too. I mean, I, like part of me doesn't want to, I don't want, I don't want to have a Woody Allen sex fantasy now. I'm going to like make sure it's like, keep your glasses on, we fuck. Yeah. What? Huh? So I can okay. fantasize about the glasses because Woody Allen has glasses. Yeah, you know? that's and that's a fucking stretch between me and Woody Allen. I'm, you know. Well, every little bit helps. I'm, you know, if you could describe somebody, I'm not exactly the opposite of Woody Allen because obviously that would be somebody like fucking Michael Strahan would be the exact opposite of Woody Allen, you know, but I'm pretty far away from the Woody Allen scale as far as me looking like Woody Allen, even with glasses. You look nothing like Strahan either. I didn't say I did. I said that that on the exact opposite ends of the scale are Woody Allen and Strahan as far as not looking like each other at all. I am closer than Strahan is, but I'm still a long way away from Woody Allen's, what I'm saying. Okay, yeah, I'll go yeah. with that. So it, it'd be hard if you had the fantasy and you wanted me to dress up as as the wood. There. <laughs> you know. As the wood. As the wood. You're weirdo. Uh-huh, Rabbi Wood. That's what you got to call me. Yeah, Rabbi Wood could have sex with the nun, Sister <sighs> Francis. Yes, for those of you that aren't watching on uh, on YouTube, but well, you will be able to. I am wearing a nun's habit and a shirt that says "Mega Fuck Slut." I'm not sure how they combine. 
They don't. <laughs> I just felt like doing it. <laughs> we, I'm we, sweet and innocent and pure. F- <laughs> damn it. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> My shirt says a dirty bird on it. I mean, either that or you, I mean, you could be a foreign nun and it just like sometimes you see people in different countries that don't speak the language and Americans have it too, where somebody will print something really on a, fucked up on, on a, a shirt yeah. and it's just walking around, you know, say, there's you know, some old lady that says, I like my cunt. Chewed it's out by a Mexican. I can't think of any right now because that would be way too convenient. But you know what I'm saying. I do know what you're saying. And, but I hear the same thing happens to Americans in other countries. I'm sure. You know, you have some writing in a different language. You don't know what it says, and it's like, you know, fat American whore. You know, <laughs> uh, what? People are laughing at you as you're walking by. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like you know, like an Asian person that has a tattoo that says like water. Okay. <laughs> yeah. An English word. That's you know? what I'm saying. That's, that's what because we have like a kanji. And I get to, I have a kanji on the back of my neck. And we, yeah. We know what you think it says, but we don't really know, do we? Know. We don't know. We don't and know. I, wait, oh, and I forgot. I keep, I always forget that about the little two on my ankle. Oh, yeah. That, that's the outside right. of my ankle. I, right? I don't, well, those are smaller and blurry now. So they're hard, it's harder to notice. Yeah. I don't, I don't think about my ankle tattoos like at all. It, they all just blend into like a swirly, swirly of, Swirly decorative design anymore. You know what I mean? I don't know. Can't uh, tell. I, <laughs> it's amazing what happens to a tattoo after a while. Yeah, especially when you have like really. Dry Yours skin. hold up pretty good though. Yeah, it's because I'm white as fuck. Well, you don't. You're not like big on going in the sun a lot. No, at all because no. of the pastiness. That's right, and because I don't like to sweat. Yeah, well, I'm like like ugh, nature. Ah, you're like <laughs> a- Antarctic white. I am. Like pasty, like I grew up in blonde hair, blue eyed, white. Yeah, and Just I've seen you pink up after like five like, minutes in the sun. Yeah, I know it's pretty weird. Well, that's it. When we were when we were doing the uh, Bigfoot Mob Boss and Bigfoot Mob Boss, <laughs> I um, it was I was out in the sun and I had pictures. And by the time I came home, under my cheeks, I mean the tops of my cheeks were all red. And it's yeah. just like, yeah. I don't know. I, I pink up. Yeah. Yeah, fast. really quick. So, I mean, that's probably why the, the tattoos hold up pretty good on you. Hmm. Uh huh. Could be. This woman said that her boyfriend is a roller coaster. Okay. Literally. And she, yeah, she has one of those, those fetishes and, uh, where she, like, you know, falls in love with objects, but she says she has kids with it. I'm in love with a coaster. Roller coaster. No, it's not the same. love. Saying. All right. Whatever. <laughs> I don't fucking care. This freaking wackadoo. Don't sing a song with me. See if I give a fuck. Fuck you. Sing by my goddamn self. <laughs> anyway, this is this 38 year old woman. She's fucking wackadoo. She, um, it's a German ride. All right. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah. That was Russian, but okay. Yeah. It's over there. It's over there. It's over there. I don't know languages. Yeah. Okay. Continue, please. I barely know English. Yeah. Anyway. So she she had a rom- uh, romantic bond with this fucking ride. It's called the Sky Scream. Oh, the coaster, love. Yeah, yeah. She's, yeah. She's in love. Is it a wooden coaster? I mean, obviously, you'd want the wood, right? Or no? No, no. It's a steel, modern steel coaster. It is. And she has a uh, a model of it in her house that she keeps. So she has him by her side all the time or when she's at home. Now, I wonder how the owners of said coaster feel about her being in love and marrying their possession. You know what I mean? Well, they are married yet. I mean, and really the key question is how old is the coaster? Mm, I don't know if the coaster can consent. That's what I'm saying. Like, she, like what is the age of consent in Germany for a coaster? Well, you know, for anything. I'm, I just, it just reminded me. I have no idea what their what their action is. You know, eighteen like the rest of us, or like I don't know, or is it younger? Like you know, nine. Maybe mm. it's twelve. I don't know. It's not my culture. I'm not sure. I would imagine eighteen, right? Well, I don't know. What's your mom? Sex and coaster years might be different than sex and human years. I am st- I, or, I got you know. I switched right over to people on that. I'm just wondering what the, what the age of 
of consent in in uh, Germany would be. I could probably look it up. Actually. You probably yeah. could. But yeah. what I want to know is how rubbing her cooter on the fucking roller coaster gave her children. You know. Yeah. I, and even even she if said she, she had children. Yes, yeah, she has children. How with, did I miss that part of the story? I don't know because it was in the in the fucking title. <laughs> okay, but I didn't read the holy Jesus. What I uh, you know fourteen apparently oh it's well just when I when I juge it 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 comes right up from sixteen to eighteen teen, teenagers need permission uh need parental permission either in writing or the people uh, uh, accompanying the child let's see physical violence including spanking on the part of the body is illegal in Germany the legal age of consent in Germany is fourteen if both partners are under eighteen. So if you're if you're if, if you're, you're over eighteen, you have to have sex with people over eighteen. Or, well, no, or, if no. you're over eighteen, anybody that you go to have sex with, you need permission from their parent from sixteen to eighteen, parental permission in writing. But if you're under, I have my papers. <laughs> Can we fuck, please? I have my papers. I'm horny. I want it now. Papers. <laughs> uh, but the, the if you're under eighteen, you can still bang at. 14, apparently. And this is according to, I don't know what, you know. Hi, hi li- little girl. It's a sketchy link. L- little girl, can you, can you go talk, ask your mom if she can write down or sign this piece of paper for me? And then, uh, uh, yeah, actually, it's, I've, I'm seeing it in a few places across the board here. It's saying, yeah, same thing. 14, yeah. Look at that. Wow. That's what I'm saying. Like, what is the age of consent in Germany since, well, you know, we were talking about a roller coaster, but, you know. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the roller coaster is probably, probably not, uh, you know, f- could be 14 or s- actually it has to be 16 because she's over 18. She's 38. What if there's so a leap year? I don't think that that matters. Okay. What if you're going by the Chinese calendar and not the German calendar? Is what it if, different? What if the, the new Chinese symbol is a roller coaster? Yeah, and what if you were using uh, the the Aztec calendar and it stopped in 2012? So the world is over, so everybody's infinitely old? <laughs> I say do what you like. <laughs> Whatever. She fucking wagged you. Okay. She's got a whole bunch of shit that she bought from the park and she has this whole room uh, that's just, just decorated for her love, her lover, okay. father. Okay, well... Baby's daddies. She, I mean, she really she, does. She even work at the park? Maybe no. Like I could see if she maintained it. You know, I, I'm one of the maintenance mechanics. No, um, uh, my name is Olga. I am the mechanic. <sighs> you know, she wants to lube those fucking wheels. Well, she did. Apparently, she what? She yeah. They they let her have her way with it. It's fuck Germany. Germany's they do weird. Oh come shit. on. Yeah come no on. no. They let her go all fuck. That's what I said. They, you no, can't rub your lady bits, your fucking cooch on the coaster, and then get kids. You don't get kids from coasters. You could get rust. Okay, well, but yeah, the kid part. Obviously, you know, this was an immaculate conception here. It didn't happen. Well, they said, you know, they had an understanding that sex was not a priority. Okay. But. <laughs> I mean, did she eat any yogurt or anything it while she was there? It happened to happen. Huh. Now, I wonder when they come out, these uh, roller coaster children, like, do they come <laughs> crashing out? Or do little men come out of them and you wreck them? Are they attached so they come out like cars? You do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and what does the DNA <laughs> test look like from a roller coaster? <laughs> does it look like Thomas the Tank Engine? <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> you got to watch that when people shoot Thomas the Tank <laughs> at you. <laughs> Shit will kill you instantly. <laughs> People are going to be like, what are you talking Somebody about? Somebody knows. <laughs> All you've, right. You've lost it. I have. Yeah. I have. I think it's time that we go. Okay. I don't if you know. say so, you're the boss. It's yeah. got your name on, on the show. It is. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I don't know. I'm 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 pretty um I'm pretty toasted right now. Okay. So all right. I think I should. Um, so what do you want me to do here? What um, like what do you want to happen right now? You want me to fire the thing up? Or are you gonna start wrap it up? <laughs> yeah. I think okay. I'm gonna wrap it up. Well, I had, I had to like ask specifically because you sounded like you weren't sure. 
because like I you wasn't wanted sure. me to like like somehow guide you in some way. I'm not guiding anybody. What oh, are you talking about? Actually, there's there's something else that, that I wanted to talk about. I thought it was kind of funny. There's What's a that? couple things. There is this uh like f- food fucking distributor like you can get in, like you can order shit from everywhere okay. kind of thing uh-huh. and they'll ship it to you. Well, they have it's this Greek place you can get a uh, it's called like Guyo octopus whole raw tenderized. But the way <laughs> that they're advertising it to you, I'll okay. show you the picture. Uh-huh. It looks like a fuck toy. Okay. It, it, well, I mean, you know, that's kind of like. It's all curled up and it has its little mouth oh sticking my. out. Well, and it looks like you're, you looks like you buy it to fuck it. I don't know. It the, really you know, does. something about having the the opening of an octopus pointed at me does not make me want to stick my dick into it. Like, like, well, it's, it's if you're because there's that a beak shit. in there. No, that's not. It's already cleaned and tenderized. I'm sure it is. I can't believe anybody on that one. Oh no, just, it's dead. No, senor, just, just stick your dick into the octopus. It'll be fine. Octopusy. Stick it right in. You will be okay. Stick it. Uh huh. So yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Not for. Not for. No. It's. I don't. I still don't want to fuck the octopus. Like I've never had had. It doesn't work the same. I mean, I'm totally. I can totally enjoy. Um, a good octopus tentacle hentai action. Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can yeah. enjoy that. But when it comes to an actual octopus, I look at it and I, and I am not sticking that mouth. There is a beacon inside that goddamn thing. I will eat it, but I don't want to fuck it. Exactly. I don't even want to put my finger in there. I no, will. I don't want to put anything in there. I want somebody to cut it up and serve it to me deliciously. Although it is pretty tenderized. Yeah. Yeah, I would that's imagine a, it's clean. That's a soft and supple little fucking octopus right there. See, so if you get, if you manage to get it through the hole, then you could like squeeze its little head cavity, and then it's like. I mean, it, it was an awfully sexy cephalopod. Really, it was. It was a hot little cephalopod there. It had the right skin tone. Suckers. Oh, that's so many suckers. Oh, suckers are so good. Suckers. They're so good. I love them suckers. <laughs> You're fucking oh, twisted. Yeah. I love no, it. I I really don't have any attraction to it. Like, no, negative. But that's what it would sound like if I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, <laughs> if I were to f- <laughs> fucking octopus, this, this is, is what, what it would look sound like. like. Yeah, oh, this sound, sound like. like. Sorry, not look like. <laughs> No. <laughs> Look over here. <laughs> jingle, jingle, jingle. <laughs> Come with keys. <laughs> All right, we're going to go. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I wanted to, to show you that the octopus. Okay. You wanted me to be creepy about an octopus is what you wanted? See, like, so- Like, you, that was what you brought out of me with that. And instead of instead of having the cum in your yogurt, then you have you know, the cum in your octopus. Okay. Well, somehow I think the octopus cum's not as bad as the yogurt cum. Why is that? Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know why because it doesn't mix in stealthily. Well, because like I would it, see a giant load already on it. You know what I mean? Now, would it be be better because it's yours? No, definitely it's better if it's mine. That's right. I mean, it depends on the stranger. And from for me personally, I would you know, it's like who's who's come. I mean, it it could be lady come. Could be. Maybe I'm into it. Maybe I like it. I don't know. I don't know. Lady come in breast milk. I mean, I do want to be informed of the jizz content of my food stuffs before I eat it. Though, uh, that really. would be very helpful. Yeah. I mean, I, I want to make the decision whether I eat jizz or not. I don't want surprise jizz is what I'm saying. Nobody likes surprise jizz. Yeah, I mean, chances are I'm going to say no Maybe either way. Will. I mean, really, the odds are really against you that I'm going to want to eat jizz. Well, really, there, ever. There, well, there are a lot of people out there that are into eating said jizz. That's what I'm saying. So you can find somebody pretty easily, I'm sure, to eat some jizz. So that's probably why the woman was pissed because she, she likes to eat jizz, but then she's like, I don't know you and you just have me eat your jizz. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I know what was in here. Yeah, you didn't put it on the warning label out front. I didn't see the sticker or the sign, you know? How could you not see it? It says Whole Foods. I mean, my God, you didn't get tested for COVID at all. How do I know that's not, you know, Rona sperm? Well, forget about Rona. What if it's like HIV sperm? Well, I think it's got to be in blood for HIV. And then I think it has to make contact with blood. I think it, that's a blood to blood kind of an action. All right. I mean, that's like Takashi six nine. Well, you oh, know. Oh, blood. 
That's, all right. Well, because 69, they're interlocked. I got gotcha. you. Blood to blood. I got, okay, if we're going to go now. That was a Katie joke. Shut the fuck up. I crafted that just for you. I appreciate your effort. That's kind of the kind of shit you like sometimes. <sighs> All right, we're going to get out of here for the night. Um, so I hope you have a great rest of your week, day, shifts, whatever the hell you're doing, workout, I don't know. Um, SC, do you have anything for me? Negative. Oh, leave a five-star fucking rating on iTunes there. Why yeah. don't you hook us up with a nice review? Do that and go watch on YouTube and do my social media and come to Tampa Bay Screams the 19th and 20th of March uh, and come see me at the Sleazebox booth. So, um, yeah, all right. I don't know. Cause don't you think bye? See? Thought I was gonna fucking not make it, didn't you? <laughs>